All right, so in this short video, we're going to evaluate the parasternal long axis view on the cardiac exam, and we're going to see three examples of normal left ventricular function. So why, uh, why is this important? Well, this is one of our questions. Um, so is, there, um, is the left ventricular function normal? In this case, it's going to be yes. If it were not, then we'd want to look at it and say, is the left ventricular function severely depressed? And we're just looking at the systolic function for basic cardiac ultrasound. So just remember, we're going to identify our anatomy here first. So we have our thick ventricle right here. We see that thick muscled wall. And so that tells us this is our left ventricle. Then we're going to follow the valves. And so the valve here is pointing into the ventricle so that knowing the blood flow, um, we know that that comes from the left atrium, which is here. And then we see another valve and it's pointing away from the left ventricle. So that's the aortic root. And then we just have to remember that sitting on the same level of the left ventricular on this is the left, the right ventricle. And this is actually the right ventricular outflow tract. Then deep here we have the descending aorta. So in this case, we're going to look at the inner walls of the left ventricle. And these inner walls, we want to see how close they collapse. And we just want to look at it and estimate. It's fine that we're not doing a calculation package. This is, you know, basic cardiac ultrasound. And we want to be quick about this. And so we want to get this view. We want to rotate the probe that, so that this, val, uh, this is nice and open, so we're not necessarily always seeing the apex here, and we don't have it rounded in this area. And once we can get this view and it's nice and open, then we can evaluate how close this wall comes down to collapse on that wall. And remember, a normal ejection fraction is 50 to 60%. And so if you're seeing a good collapse there like this, it's not going to, those walls will not be touching. If they are, then that would be a hyperdynamic uh, left ventricular systolic function. So... One other thing you can do, uh, when I look at one and I'm struggling, you know, hey, what kind, how does that um, look? I'll watch this valve, and I'll watch this anterior mitral valve leaflet, and I just want to see if it comes up and hits the wall. Now, this is called an EPSS. We're not going to get into it a lot in this uh, lecture. Um, we can, we'll talk about that at a different time. But that's one way to assess whether this ventricle has enough um, capability to relax and allow blood flow in. And if it does, this valve will typically hit the wall. Now, that means that typically you have a good ejection fraction. The only thing that would cause that to be different if you didn't have a, the, the pitfalls to that kind of scenario are as if you have mitral valve stenosis, you have some coming right here, you have some uh, aortic regurge. Um, those would be some things that would keep that from uh, hitting the wall like uh, we would expect. But I would like you to first look and just see are those walls collapsing towards each other, and if they are... Um, it, as in this example, then then you're pretty well off. So just kind of let this uh, burn into your brain, and we're going to see two more examples here. So we can look at this one. This one's a little bit more of the towards the apex of the heart, but we can see that those walls, the septal wall and the outer wall, are collapsing well towards each other. And then also, um, and so we can estimate that this is a normal EF. This looks uh, like a normal EF. And if we struggle with that, then we could look at that valve, and sure enough, that anterior mitral valve leaflet right here is swinging up and hitting that septal wall. And so that gives us a good idea that this is a normal ejection fraction. Remember, we're not going to talk in percentages. We're going to talk normal uh, and severely depressed, at least to begin. Okay, same thing here. We can see the inner walls here. Here's another case. We see an inner wall here. We can see the inner wall here. We don't see the apex. But we can see they come down and they, they um, collapse quite well. This is a normal ejection fraction. And then we can watch this valve again. And this valve is flipping up and hitting that wall just like we talked about before. Now, don't get anxious because you see this motion down in here. This is mirror artifact, uh, one of those artifacts we talk about in the physics lecture lectures. Uh, hopefully that gives you an idea of three different examples of a normal ejection fraction for your scanning. Thanks.